Portugal. She goes up against Pupreka of Hungary. It'll be Sidero in the white Jidogi. Pup in blue. And referee in the middle for this one is Zhang Guangyu of the People's Republic of China. Three times a Grand Slam gold medal winner, Pup Brecker. And just recently got bronze medal in Tashkent and also in Paris. She's got quite a, quite a collection a, going, yeah, yeah. She's been around for a while, a lot of experience under that belt. Sorry, attempt there from Sidra. First opening. Pup just trying to control. Draws her opponent down into the Niwaza, where she's always very comfortable down there. First time in a Grand Slam final for Maria Sidro. Well, sometimes it's one of these situations that it's um, nothing to lose and everything to gain. Rekha Pop came in to this competition as the number two seed. The number one was Chelsea Giles of Great Britain, which we'll, we'll see a little bit later on in the final. She'll be up against um, Bouchard, who also was one of the top four seeds. In fact, number three in the seeding. Well, the one thing we know about Rika Bob, she puts a lot of work in. She's definitely a, a worker in these contests. Coach desperately trying to give as much instruction as he possibly can and encouragement. Sidro coming in for a Makakomi attempt. Although it wasn't close of scoring, it was a good attack against um, Rekapop, who could only defend off that. Sidro. Looking for that right hand over the collar, takes both sleeves and a Sodi attempt, but couldn't manage to power her opponent over. But still put, puts the first attack in. And there's just up on attacks, really, I think, against Rekapub. Sasai attempt, change of direction. Doesn't want to. Work down in the Niwaza at this particular moment. We're just coming up to the halfway mark. Still no score, but um, more important, no Shido's either. Now, Pup chasing her opponent. They're getting very close to the edge of the contest area. Sidro's got to be careful there. Kuso to attempt. Rekka looking for to unbalance, unsettle her opponent. It's not working right now. Sidro, I think, is doing a great job out here against uh, the more experienced athlete. And the longer this goes, the more confident Sidro will be. She's got the top half going there, but the legs were leaden. Yeah. They just... She's playing very... Yeah. She's playing a cautious game. She doesn't want to really commit in case she gets countered. So she's, it's really a tactic that she's just putting in the attacks, being first, hitting her before her opponent hits her. So just, just pipping her to the post at this moment, which for Pop it's pretty frustrating because no sooner she gets two hands on, then Sidro attacks. Pop has picked up a 
a penalty for passivity. Yeah, because she's just desperately trying to get in first. She can't um, tactically. The Portuguese is doing a good job. A little over a minute left to go. Too tentative there, I'm yeah. afraid. As you, you, just as you were saying about backing off. So do you, Tim. Mm -hmm. Again, got the hands in position. Leaving herself a little bit short in entry, but again, I think this is to avoid being countered. Playing, playing safe. Again, she backpedals where Pup's got a chase up and causes the frustration well no one could come up with a score during regulation time it's, uh, we're going to need a period of golden score to sort this one and talking about golden score don't go anywhere after Whoa. oh yes is there going to be a, a look at and that there she's you have tapped the out for the arm lock yeah Very quickly onto it. Oh, she was. And that's where the experience comes in, isn't it, with the, the golden score. Change your, chat, your tactics completely in the opening seconds of golden score. Well, she definitely got a little bit of a fright there. Didn't feel that it would go on as, as quickly as it did and um, a little bit slow to react. <laughs> Yes, that can happen sometimes. Wilbrecker it is who takes the first of the bronze medal contests in the under 52 kilo category.